Hey guys, welcome to my first Gorilla Tag fan game tutorial, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up and get multiplayer. First, go download Unity Hub, and it's the first link in the description. And what you wanna do is go to installs. I prefer having 2021.3.16 F1. If you wanna get that, I think you have to like go to official re releases or like um, install editor. Yeah, it's install editor, and you can um. I think you can go to Archive, and you can just go to their website and try to find that version. And once you have it, you um, make sure you click Settings, Add Modules, and make sure Android Build Support, Open JDK, and Android SDK and NDK tools are all selected, because that what that's what allows you to play like with your Quest. So once you did all of that. Um, you click new project and then you can click 3d or vr i suggest clicking vr and then you think of like what kind of um, way you want to name your game just write it here i'm gonna put i'm just gonna put tutorial game and then um just click create project okay once it's done loading you can just close this and like close tutorial up here and then click okay um so what you do first is go to edit at the top left click project settings then go to xr plugin management at the bottom and it might already be installed if you click the vr but if you click 3d when we started the project it wouldn't be here and you just click install and once it's done if if, if it wasn't already here once it's done make sure open xr is selected and click this little um warning mark click edit now click plus oculus touch controller profile and valve index controller profile you can do hdc vive but you don't have to but you just can do it and then you click single pass instance and put it to multi-pass now go to android settings and change this to multi-pass and then at the bottom left go back to xr plugin management make sure you click android and select oculus now go down here click oculus go to the monitor and make sure this is multi-pass and then go to android settings change make sure this is multi-pass and make sure low overhead mode is on and then down here you can choose like what headsets you want it to be available on i suggest doing just quest 2 and quest but if you want you can do quest pro even though it's not even a headset made for gaming so now you can just x out of this and this and just to save just click file save or if you want to quickly save you can click Control s and it saves the game now go to window package manager make sure this is packages in project and then click plus add package from get url type in exactly com dot unity dot xr dot interactions dot toolkit actually make sure there's no s on interactions i mean it's supposed to be just interaction and click add now just click i made a backup go ahead and now click samples starter assets and import that now close this go back to edit project settings click open xr go to android and add oculus touch controller profile now when you click starter assets this should be here now um, it's under samples, XR interactions, 2.2, starter assets, and here is some stuff that you need to mess with. So on each of these things, they have the little dials. Click, um, click all of them, except for like any of the, the other ones, like the page one, just click these. So click this, the first one, click add to action based, and then just click add for each and every one of these. Now go to edit, project settings, go to preset manager, go to preset manager, and then right here where it says, um, like, XRI default right controller, just type in right, all lowercase, just right, and then right here, type left, all lowercase. Now X out of that, save the project. Now go to the second link in the description. It, um, it takes you to the Gorilla Locomotion GitHub. And I'll show you that right now. Okay, so once you're here, just click Gorilla Locomotion Unity Package, and then click Download. Now that you have it, just drag this over to Unity, and just drag it anywhere in this 
area. It doesn't have to be in this folder, just in this area, and it'll um, say this. Click all, import. And then it'll say reload. I mean, it'll say, it'll say this error message, but just click reload. Now, um, you already noticed like some different stuff about the sky. And what you can do here is you can um, make your own map by clicking, by right clicking this uh, your, in your hierarchy, clicking 3D object cube. And if you don't know how to move around in Unity, um, just hold right click and then look around. Or um, if you just use WASD without doing anything, it doesn't actually move. If you use WASD, it doesn't actually move, but using your arrows does, but I don't really like doing that. So you can just hold right click and move around like this, or you can just um, look around and move around. So I made this little map. Um, it's really simple. I actually recorded doing this, but it's um, it got corrupted. So basically you can make an empty game object. An em empty game object is a, it's like an object, but it's like, it's not an actual thing in the game. It's just like a group. So I'm just gonna call this um, map. So you can take the cube that you that, uh, of your map and put it in there. And another great thing about like using um, groups is because you can select the group and move the whole thing with it. So what you want to do now that you've like if you know how to make a map. Um, actually, I'm gonna show you how to make a map. So you just click, right click, click um, 3D object cube. And it just spawns in a little cube. Let's bring this up. So it spawns a cube. And you can move this cube around, whatever. You can scale it and you can scale it and stuff. And you can um you can also use this tool. Like it's like sides and stuff. So uh, to make colors, you go to your assets, click example assets, no wait, yeah, example assets, materials, and you can just right click, click create, material, name it like a color, like blue. See, I already made orange and red, but I recorded making that, but it didn't work. So you just click the white here and then take it to blue, you know, make, the, make it blue. You can either drag it onto the object or drag it in here, but I like dragging it to the object. So now um, that you've made like a map, you can like color it and stuff. Um, I'm just gonna take this cube into the platforms because it's like a part of the pla platform group. Um, now to get your player in, you click samples, no, you click resources, gorilla prefabs, click gorilla rig, just drag it in somewhere you can just drag this in and this, these are your two hands um, also you, if you get close you can kind of like the camera kind of goes away if you don't want to see this camera you just click this thing in the top right and it disables all gizmos or like it just dis it disables it from you seeing the gizmos so like if, if it's in your way um, also delete main camera I forgot to say that you can delete main camera just have gorilla rig directional light and all your like platforms and stuff and now um, you can click Gorilla Rig and move it around, you know, if you want it to spawn over here in the corner of the map, you can have that spawn there, or if you want it to spawn, in, like, on this platform. So I'm just going to have it spawn here, and now it should work. Um, all you have to do to test it is connect, like, Air Link or Cable Link. Connect your Oculus to your computer and just click play once you're in Link. I'm not going to explain how to do Link. You can find a tutorial on that somewhere else. But um, I'll show you me like just testing out the game. Now you just click the play button. And you should be in the game. So you can just jump around. These platforms are a little, are a little small. I might have to make it bigger. But yeah, you can just run around here. You can like pinch climb and everything. You can do everything. You can do in gorilla tag. You can like wall climb. So 
So that is how you set up the movement. And to properly stop playing, you just click this button. Don't turn off your headset or anything. You have to click this button to properly stop. Now quickly, I'm just gonna like, um, scale this up a little bit. There, so now it's a little bit harder to do because it's small. I'm gonna show you how to like change the color of your hands. Um, so just go to go to your materials again and just make another color. Let's say I wanted like green hands. Material, name it green. Or you can name it anything. You don't have to be naming them the colors. It's just easier to see. Make it green and then just drag it on. And later I'll show you how to make your hands invisible. But once I get multiplayer in, uh, it'll make sense why you would want them invisible.